Now back to Smoke on the Water for more Straight Up with Sturge. All right, welcome back in. 747 on this opening night of college football season. Let's go straight to the guest line and bring in the legendary former head coach of the University of Oklahoma, Barry Switzer. Coach, how are we doing tonight? I'm doing great, Mark. I'm looking forward to seeing you and Coach Ford uh, do CoachesCabana.com here this weekend. I know, I and that's, that's one of the reasons we wanted to get you on, is last year you were the initial coach as part of the Coaches Cabana at Oklahoma, and you know a lot of people have asked me here over the last couple of weeks since everything really came out announcement-wise, where did the name Cabana come from? So I'm going to give you that opportunity right there to answer that question before we get well, any that's further. That's simple. That's simple. I got a cabana. I got a cabana that's right. in my pool. And, uh, yep. I should have called it the man cave or coach's man cave or something Ooh. like that. But it, I built a nice, uh, really built a nice uh, cabana. It's uh, got two big giant toilets. I got a bar at one end of it. got a fireplace at the other end. And, and a lot of tables to eat and uh, accommodate people sitting around. And then, uh, then a really... A, fun relaxing area that uh, in front of my fireplace that uh, that's where I do my coach's cabana show I did last year and, and uh, of course our name came from that but it was a concept that actually I and a friend uh, that were in business the other 1978 we started Sooners Illustrated and we ended up doing Huskers Illustrated we did uh, uh, Longhorn Illustrated and uh, Trojans Illustrated we did about 13 magazines it was a year Billy Sims my running back made the right. Heisman Trophy and we and back, it was back in an era the NCAA didn't have the restrictions that we have on as we do today and uh, on recruiting and uh, therefore I've got the magazines I just send them out everywhere you know to prospect student athletes and the only way you get in touch with anybody is by correspondence or a, or a, a landline and it was uh, we didn't have the technology we have today. Well, anyway, uh, my friend that we started the, the magazine with came to me last year. He says, you know, everybody's doing online blogs, magazines, and all this, and it's uh, uh, something that, you know, is happening in the way of the future, but, but really what needs to be on the cutting edge is doing second screenings of live events and football major college football is a major event that uh, captures the nation and, and and certainly individual pacific schools uh so let's let's venture into that and i said let's run a do it a year at oklahoma i did seven games last year and they grew my audience grew every game and then the final game we had uh, with, i did it with jackie Sherrill. we did the cotton bowl with johnny football whipped us pretty good and uh <laughs> And we had 30,000 people uh, came. What makes it really interesting is just like, what's the game with the coach? In other words, if you came to my house in the Mike Cabana, there'd be, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 people, and they're all ex-athletes, guys come by for beer, uh, sitting around shooting the bull watching the game. And what I did is that uh, I did the first game by myself, Mark. The second game, I said, I need some help, so I got a special <laughs> host. You know, I got a guy that uh, is the kind of a homer, knows the football uh, of this school. He knows the Sooners real well. He talks on the sports animal. It's in a statewide radio station every day, a three-hour segment. He used to be an anchor on television. So Mark Rogers, it was the perfect, perfect fit for me. So he and I host the show. Uh, he's my host. I'm, I'm of course, the uh, guy that interacts, reads the tweet, uh, reads the tweets, and. and and uh, interacts well with, uh, with our fan base. That's what makes this show unique, is that not only do I have comments about the game that's going on, the same game that you're watching uh, on the network, uh, you have the opportunity to turn those guys down or turn them off, which our fan base did, and they'd always tweet me and say, hey, coach, we just turned that guy off who's never covered the kickoff or brought one back. We're listening to you. And right. uh, so, therefore, they listen to my comments instead of, the network guy, but we have to watch the network game because all they're going to see is me watching the game, looking right into the camera, me and the host talking back and forth, or some guy, player coming into the room, I shout out and yell at and ask him to come over and say, sit down and talk a little football with us here and answer these tweets as I get to these actually thousands of tweets. Ended up having three or 4,000 tweets that come into me. 
sponsors love that, the interaction of, uh, of the coach being able to handle tweets and shout out to people all over the country. Obviously, it's all over the world. I had I had uh, tweets from Afghanistan, the 45th Division of Oklahoma National Guard was in Afghanistan, and these guys at 3 o'clock in the morning were tweeting me, and I'm answering these guys first and Absolutely. talking to them. So what? So it, it, it's uh, a different concept. Uh, I did seven games. It grew. It got better. I went out and talked to some big boys, YahooSports.com, Comcast, and all of them. They said they'd like to get involved. And uh, so, uh, Coaches Cabana's got them on board. We got some affinity sponsors. We hope we're going to have a couple of national sponsors and to cover the whole network. We got 14 schools. Basically, it's the SEC. Uh, Danny, of course, is doing the ACC. I think Clemson the ACC now, but it's one of the top programs in the country. It's ranked the top ten uh, in the country. Uh, uh, it's fan base. And then uh, I've got coaches doing, you know, Auburn, Georgia, Alabama, uh, you know, LSU. Tennessee. I've got, I got, I got, I got Texas A&M. Uh, we've got Nebraska, a couple of big ten schools. Nebraska. I've got Jay Paterno doing Penn State. Someone asked me, Mark, who his host was going to be. And I said, "This lawyer." <laughs> oh man, I, uh, I definitely so, wouldn't get Todd Blackledge about right now. Yeah, so he's yeah, uh, he's so. upset with the Penn State administration. So yeah, I imagine so. But anyway, it's it, it's a good concept, and I think people will enjoy it. And I'll, I look forward to hearing Danny shoot the bull and talk, tell old stories, and talk history, and talk about the game, and make comments. We're not on. It's like Bob Stoops. I went and talked to her. I hit coach at Oklahoma, and I said, Bob. Uh, I said, you know, I'm going to be doing the show. I won't be able to say things you can't say. You know, Bob can't say his damn tackles aren't worth a damn. You know what I mean? Right. Defensive tackles. You know, right. they haven't recruited well. They don't have any first-round draft choices there like they had in Tommy Harris and Gerald and McCoy and the guys that went to third and fourth players picking the draft. Well, you know, those, you know they were, their recruiting's falling off a little bit in, in uh, those areas. Well, he can't talk about that. He's got to play with what he's got, and he's got to support who he's got. And, but I can be a voice that he can't be. And uh, so I can explain to the fans really what, what the problems are that exist within the football program. If there are any, you know, it's hard to find the ones at Alabama, you know what I mean? And, uh, the, Thank that you. If he did anything negative about. But, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just something that uh, allows fans to interact Coach, the old legendary coach, and uh, allows uh, uh, sponsors to. I, I buy a lot of product placements. I have uh, Bud Light is my uh, Bud Light. Here we go uh, is my one of my sponsors. I got their products sitting around. I got Coca Cola. Got all their products sitting around. I've got banners up. I've got so you know Oklahoma's never been in you know, Indian state, and we've got over 100 Indian casinos in the state. So I can advertise. Yes, sir. Uh, I can cover the recruiting at halftime in, in other schools, networks, the Sooner uh, Network, the Longhorn Network, all these other networks you hear schools having out there. They can't. NCA NCAA doesn't allow them to talk about recruiting. Uh, That's right. They can't, but, but I'm not restricted by the NCAA. I'm not associated with the university. You know, we're totally but, independent, and uh, so we live, but we live by our own rules. And it's awesome. I mean, if people want a little sneak peek, they can actually start here at 9.15 tonight as Max Howell will be uh, operating the Ole Miss version. And all you have to I do is go think, to – I don't, I don't uh, know if we're doing – I don't think we're going to do it. We're, what, what we're doing is the marquee games and the conference okay. games. See, I would see we're, we opened uh, Saturday night, and but I'm not going to do that game either, Mark, because it's a pay-per-view game. So a pay-per-view right. game isn't going to have any eyeballs. There'll only be about twenty thousand people buy the box or whatever to, for the pay-per-view of the Sooner game, and uh, they're not enough eyeballs. You got to have a network game uh, for, to be able to have enough, uh, uh, you know, hundreds of thousand people watching a football game of these schools, which you obviously are. There're going to be hundreds of thousand people, hundred million people watching uh, Georgia and, and Clemson. Mm-hmm. So they can uh, and Ray Golf is doing Georgia. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, Danny's doing Clemson. So here you've got uh, two coaches. I, I think Ray Golf, Ray Golf might have had a commitment that he couldn't get out of, and I think he's got his old ex quarterback that started for him at uh, Georgia doing this game for him. But uh, anyway, uh, it's basically all the marquee non conference games and uh, the conference games. So basically, each school will probably have a, you know, such a pushover, not many people be 
watching it or paying yes. a pay per view, and that so therefore we, it's uh, it we have ours next. Yeah, we have ours next week with South Carolina State, so we will be getting. Yeah, that we game wouldn't. Off. We wouldn't show that. We would. Yeah. We wouldn't show that game. You know, but hey, uh, we've already I, talked to our coaches about that and about that. Okay. Yeah, uh, before we get out, you know, I'm on Clemson's flagship station here. Can I ask you, I'd be remiss if I did not ask you, what comes to mind when you think of Clemson Tiger football? Well, I, I got my butt beat out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and, but not out there. Things. We didn't play out there. We played in the uh, yeah. we played Citrus, in Bowl. Citrus Bowl. Citrus Bowl, yeah. In fact, you know what? That was the last game I ever coached. That is I correct. Resigned. We won nine games that year. I resigned. It wasn't because of them. I, never, I didn't lose here at Oklahoma. I won. And, uh, but it, right. it wasn't because of that. It was some other factors, and I got tired of dealing with it. And had an interim president and some hidden agendas of the university administration. You know, it's great to be able to talk about things like that today because I don't have any damn bosses, uh, university presidents or uh, board of regents that i got to answer to. You know what I mean? It's, it's good I to be able to be, in, be out in the free world and uh, – and know that hey, the only people I answer to is myself, and uh, and I and I try to do the right things, and ethical things, and morally right. But it's at the same time, you know, today uh, in this world of uh, the tyranny of political correction is is not being able to say the damn truth about things. And that's uh, uh, the, the, time, the times we live in right now. But I can, yeah. I will. Without a doubt. And, and, and that's what Coach Ford said. He goes, listen, I've already to- to- talked to Coach Sweeney. I can be honest, but uh, I'm, I'm also going to be a little bit careful about what I do. But he goes, if I see something wrong, i got to tell the truth on it. And, and that's, that's the right. way we'll go you about bet. it. All you right, bet. Coach, You're, thank you. For- our, it'll, be, it'll be interesting, and I think people got to uh, take your mobile devices, your iPads, your iPhones, and uh, computers at home. You're not in the stadium. Hey, look at the network uh, game, but. Turn on Coach Ford at CoachesCabana.com. And All right, Coach Mark Switzer. And Mark and Coach. Yep. Hey, listen, enjoy these opening five days of the college football season. I mean, it's here. We've got North Carolina and South Carolina on the air right now. But, again, thank you for your time today to kind of give our you listeners Mark. an idea of what to expect. All right, thank it, it you very much. Have fun with it. Hey, have fun with it. Hey, that's, it. I mean, that's what we're going to do. All okay, right, thank you care. much, Coach thank Switzer. You, Bye-bye. And uh, he's going to come back on with us after uh, the first couple of weeks of the season because uh, we had a bunch of uh, questions that we talked about for about a half an hour on Friday. All right, when we come back on the other side, more updates from college football plus our final Lewis Grizzard clip when it comes to the Clemson-Georgia game or just Georgia in general. Coming up in hour number two here on Straight Up with Sturge on Talk Sports 104.9 FM. <laughs> 